With the decision to commence Operation Star-1, many of the Federation's space fleets begin to converge on a Bawaku. Meanwhile, the thoroughbred, with the damaged G-04, docks at Solomon for repairs and to resupply. Miraculously surviving the previous incident with only minor injuries, Lieutenant Luce returns to duty after a few days off to rest. Now fully resupplied, the thoroughbred prepares to rejoin General Revel's main fleet. But just prior to departure, they receive news of the fleet's destruction by the solar ray system. Instead, the thoroughbred is incorporated into the second battalion and departs Solomon for a Bala coup. What? An enemy force here? I guess some remnants from Solomon have been hiding just waiting for a chance to take revenge. We can't ignore them! All hands to combat status one! You're not fully recovered yet, Lieutenant Luce, so don't strain yourself. I know. I don't want to be in that kind of danger. But I do want to test the capabilities of that new booster unit we received from Solomon. Yeah, that'll be exciting. But what about me? Aren't you worried about my safety? This is Ford Romfellow. I'm launching. G04, G05, destroy the enemy, both of you! Roger. Bruce, don't strain yourself. Don't worry, I know. of Monopsky particles. And Solomon's hardly the space fortress it was before that vicious battle both sides fought over. Enemy reinforcements, be careful. Enemy reinforcements are heading for the thoroughbred, requesting support. Excellent! Commence covering fire. Ready, be planned. Counting on you to back me up. I'm here. Let's see you go down. That was close. The thoroughbred is taking damage, requesting support. <laughs> sure, Aiken. That was careless. Take that. I'm taking you all with me. Take this. Destroyed. G04, G05, return to ship. <sighs> oh, it's finally over. Now I can go back. How did we ever survive for this long? That's an easy one to answer, Luce. We're survivors because we fought well. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. 